Praise be to Jesus. Hello again, everyone. Charles with you here. Here are your afternoon updates for September 11, 2018. Vienna Cardinal Christoph Schornborn said in a homily on Sunday during a celebration for the Feast of the Name of Our Lady that there is almost, quote, a war in the church, unquote because bishops and cardinals are positioning themselves in favor or against Pope Francis. Schornborn expressed his, quote, admiration, unquote, for Pope Francis, who in all of this, quote, preserves his inner peace, unquote. During the September 9th beatification mass for Sister Alphonse Marie Eppinger, the foundress of the Sisters of the Divine Redeemer. Some Indian sisters performed the Hindu ritual Arti. The Mass was presided by Cardinal Giovanni, Giovanni Angelo Becci in Strasbourg Cathedral, France. Arti was performed before the Our Father. Arti is part of the daily Hindu ritual puja, which consists in offering light to one or more idols. And there is a one minute video at the second link in the description box if you want to take a look at exactly what was happening there. The religious congregation of the nun who has accused a bishop in India of raping her has sided with the bishop, calling him a, quote, uh, innocent soul, unquote. The missionaries of Jesus Congregation issued the statement defending Bishop Franco Mulacau of Janlahar after several religious sisters held a protest in Kachi, the largest city in the state of uh, Kerala. Uh, Mulacau has vehemently denied the charges and says the nun is retaliating against him for investigating a complaint she had an affair with a married man. In a homily at Casa Santa Marta on Tuesday morning, the Pope told bishops that they seem to be under attack from the devil. The great accuser is trying to uncover bishop's sins in order to scandalize the people, Pope Francis has said. Referring to the devil, Pope Francis said, quote, in these times, it seems like the great accuser has been unchained and is attacking bishops, unquote. Quote, the elites, which is also unquote, criticize bishops while the people have an attitude of love towards the bishop. A top Vatican official said Tuesday the clerical sex abuse scandal is such a game-changing catastrophe for the Catholic Church that he called it the Church's, quote, own 9-11, unquote, on the 17th anniversary of the attacks in the U.S., Archbishop Horg Gaineswine, a top aide to both retired Pope Benedict XVI and Pope Francis, told a book presentation Tuesday that he by no means was comparing the scandal to the nearly 3,000 people killed in the U.S. on September 11, 2001. While no one has attacked churches with airplanes full of passengers, Gaineswine said, Recent news from the U.S., quote, sends a message that is even more terrible than the sudden collapse of all the churches of Pennsylvania together with the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, unquote. Religion's role in politics and public policy is in the spotlight heading towards the midterm elections, yet relatively few Americans consider it crucial that a candidate be devoutly religious 
or share their religious beliefs. According to a poll released Tuesday by the Associated Press and ORC Center for Public Affairs Research, just 25% of Americans say it's very or extremely important that a candidate has strong religious beliefs, according to the poll. Only 19% consider it very or extremely important that a candidate share their own beliefs, and nearly half say that's not very important or not important at all. The Vatican says Pope Francis will meet Thursday with the head of the U.S. Bishops' Conference and other top U.S. church officials over the sex abuse and cover-up scandal roiling the Catholic Church. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, head of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, has said he wants Francis to authorize a full-fledged Vatican investigation into the scandal of ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, who was removed as Cardinal in July after a credible accusation he groped a teenager. DiNardo has also said recent claims of cover-up of McCarrick's misconduct, including against top Vatican officials and the Pope himself, deserves answers. Vatican spokesman Greg Burke said DiNardo would meet with Francis on Thursday in the Apostolic Palace. Along with Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Francis's top sex abuse advisor. Also involved are officials from the conference, Los Angeles Archbishop Jose Gomez and Monsignor Brian Bransfield. And those are your updates for Thursday afternoon. Enjoy the day or evening and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.